Hi, I'm Em from 21 Readers. It's time to react to the July Book of the Month picks. Finding out the new picks is my favorite part of being a Book of the Month member because it's fun to research for new releases. Last month I picked The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark and I gave it three stars. It was fun at the time seeing which woman could out manipulate the other, but at the end of the day it was very forgettable. As for predictions go, I'm absolutely predicting Upgrade by Blake Crouch. Although I only joined Book of the Month in 2021, I've been a longtime lurker of the picks and I remember back in 2016 when Dark Matter was a pick and in 2019 when Recursion was a pick, I remember thinking that those covers looked so cool, especially as the Book of the Month covers, so I definitely want an upgrade book of the month cover and i'm really hoping it gets picked and if it's not a pick but it is an add-on i definitely plan on using one of my add-on credits for upgrade that's the only prediction i have so let's go ahead and react to these july picks okay here we go we have firstborn by will dean upgrade yes i'm picking this finally my blake crouch book of the month prophecy will come true okay back to it the Bodyguard by Catherine Center. You're Invited by Amanda Jayatisa. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Three thrillers? Oh, Upgrade's considered a sci-fi. I am so pumped about Upgrade. I wonder if his other picks, they're gonna recycle as add-ons, Recursion and Dark Matter. Would I consider getting them so I could have them all three together? Perhaps. Okay, I'm definitely getting Upgrade. But let's go ahead and research all of these. First born by Will Dean, it says, when her sister turns up dead across the ocean, a young woman is sent on an exhilarating search for answers. It says, quirky, buzzy, whodunit, and NYC. Didn't Gabby just give this a bad rating in one of her videos? She said it was about twins. I have one of his previous books called The Last Thing to Burn because I won it in a Goodreads giveaway, but I never read it. So is now the time to read it? See, it says April 20th, 2021. I did not read it, my bad. It says from the acclaimed author of The Last Thing to Burn. Was that an acclaimed book? The only reason I know the book is because of the Goodreads giveaway that I won. But other than that, I haven't heard of a single other person reading this. The Last Thing to Burn has 8,000 reviews. It's his most popular book. Firstborn, it's saying that basically we're following the events that happened after someone's twin sister's murdered. This sounds like it would be up someone's alley who just wants a quick summer psychological thriller to read, but I'm not really interested in reading this author. I'm not even really interested in reading this one. All right, next we have Upgrade. Logan Ramsay learns the hard way, but sometimes evolution can be a real downgrade if you're not careful. Fast read, action-packed, famous author, Brainy. I listened to the audiobooks of Dark Matter and Recursion, so it's definitely gonna be a little bit of a change reading Upgrade physically, but I'm definitely willing to risk it, and I'm looking forward to it. I don't wanna read any more about the plot of Upgrade since I really just wanna know it as little as possible, but I did enjoy Dark Matter and Recursion and how they made the sci-fi elements of it very accessible to the reader and how it very much just felt like a very fast-paced thriller. Let's go ahead and check out the Goodreads stats of Blake Crouch's other books though. Okay, so this one already has 1300 ratings. It's releasing July 12th. Ooh, I wonder if this one's gonna win Best Sci-Fi in the Goodreads Choice Awards in the fall. Probably, right? Did Dark Matter and Recursion both win? I feel like they did. Wait, where's the awards? Remember they used to have like winner of the Goodreads Choice Awards, but with the new layout, is it still here? Dark Matter has over 300,000 ratings. Recursion has over 150,000 ratings. Okay, with the new Goodreads layout, it's harder to see if they both won the Goodreads Choice Awards in their year. Because with the old layout, if it was a Goodreads Choice nominee or winner, it was like right at the top, but I don't see that here with the new layout. Anyway, I feel like Upgrade could very much be the winner of the science fiction pick for Goodreads Choice Awards. So I'm definitely picking Upgrade and yay for my first book of the month, Blake Crouch. Also, this cover on Goodreads looks way more vibrant than this cover on Book of the Month. Okay, moving on. Next we have The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Protect and serve, that's the job. But in this witty romance, the real question is whose hearts need protecting? Three-peat author. I haven't read this author. I know that she wrote the books. One's called Things You Save in a Fire. It's like red with the flowers on it. And then the other one's blue with the similar flowers around it, but I don't remember what the other one's called. Feminist, Forbidden Love, Light Read, Fake Dating. And I noticed they tagged this as romance, but I feel like weren't the other ones classified as contemporary fiction or women's fiction? Okay, this one releases July 19th. It already has over 2,000 ratings, uh, romance and contemporary. 
from what I recall from people that have talked about this author before, the stories have a lot of family drama interwoven, similar to the show This Is Us. While the romance is at the center, there's also a family drama going on. At least that's what I heard from reviews from her other books. Oh, okay. Things You Save in a Fire was the blue cover, and How to Walk Away is the red cover. Oh, and last year she had What You Wish For. It says she's a three-peat author, so I think the three-peat author was Things You Save in a Fire and How to Walk Away, not What You Wish For. So Things You Save in a Fire is her most popular book. I think this is also a contender for romance nominee for Goodreads Choice Awards. From skimming this plot description, it looks like the female character is the bodyguard for the actor. I'm glad that they had romance again for romance readers and for people that enjoy this author. Okay, next is You're Invited by Amanda Jayatissa, early release. It says, welcome to the wedding from hell. We've got lost dresses, tabloids, private investigators, and an unexplained murder. That sounds enticing. Family drama, glamorous, international, and wedding. Okay, this looks like a wild ride. I definitely want to read this one. It looks like there's a content warning under this FYI. I don't want to click it because I don't want to be spoiled, but that's what I think that this FYI down here is. Oh, wow, when they said early release, this one releases in September, September 13th. Okay, this author published a book last year called My Sweet Girl in 2021. It has 3,000 ratings. I'm doing upgrade for my pick, but I definitely want to listen to this one on audio when it releases in September. I'm excited for this author to have more attention for her book. All right, and last we have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow a literary fiction by Gabrielle Zevin. This moving story of friendship and art making will have you nostalgic for your favorite childhood video games. It says emotional, non-linear timeline, 400 plus pages, and underdog. I typed in Gabrielle Zevin and this book called Elsewhere came up. I read this in middle school. <laughs> anyway, that is too funny. Okay, her most popular book is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery. Okay, Elsewhere was published in 2005. The description on Goodreads gives us a little bit more information where it says we're following two friends who are designing video games together and we're following them over a long period of time. This one sounds like a unique premise. I'm definitely curious how the video game element plays into the nostalgia and plays into the main character's relationship with each other. Okay, I'm absolutely picking Upgrade. I'm thrilled that I finally get to have a book of the month, Blake Crouch book. I hope I like Upgrade as much as I liked Dark Matter and Recursion. So here we go. Upgrade, make my book of the month. Woot. Okay, let's check out the add-ons really quick. I hope I remember what the new add-ons are. Look at that. Let's unpack this. One, Riley Sager's on here. That's great for people who have a lot of his books so that they can have matching editions. Oh, Ruth Ware is an add-on early? Wait, why didn't I predict that? I think in my head I thought this was coming out in August. Recursion is back on here for Blake Crouch fans and Things You Save in a Fire is on here for Catherine Center. And then they're continuing to have Book of Night and Lessons in Chemistry on here. Wait, should I get the It Girl? Honestly, I'm about to get the It Girl because for Ruth Ware I've read, how many books of hers? One by one. Turn of the Key, The Woman in the Window, no, The Woman in Cabin 10, and The Death of Mrs. Westaway. I've read four of her books, all on audiobook with a British narrator. I'm wondering how reading it physically with no audiobook would impact my enjoyment of it. So I actually think I do want to get the It Girl for an add-on. As for the Riley Sager, I already read that one and gave it four stars. I'm not going to get The House Across the Lake. I was just going on about how I thought the Blake Crouch Book of the Month books looked so cool together. This is why I don't get add-ons because once you start, it's hard to stop. I'm never gonna reread Recursion, so there's no reason for me to get it. Just like I'm never gonna reread The House Across the Lake, so there's no reason for me to get it. I will read the It Girl though. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm using an add-on credit. Thank you for the add-on credits, by the way. All right, there we have it. I'm doing Upgrade as my main pick. I'm doing the It Girl as my add-on pick. Tell me in the comments what you picked for your July Book of the Month pick, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.